Monday, Monday, Monday. Oh yeah. We loaded. We loaded. Oh yeah. Hey guys. Wow, I sound really weird today. What's up? What's up? All right. Fuck it. We're rolling with it. Hey everyone, welcome to Monday. It's a pleasure to have you back here. Seven days ago, we had one of these shows, and is now seven days into the future. So we have this show again. <laughs> It happens to also be on Monday. It happens to also be Monday night. What well, is for me at least, it might be different for you. But at least it is for me. <laughs> God. Anyways. <clears throat> Oof, I sound really earthy today. Hmm. Anyways guys, we got a fantabulous show lined up tonight. Um, again, four games, as always. Uh, first one we have up is uh, Skyborne, which is this one right here. It is probably one of the Better RPGs made out of RPG Maker. I'd say that's about right. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, um, the art is really well done. Uh, from what I can tell, the menu is really well done. It is a little low res, but hey, can't can't have it all, right? <laughs> Monday jokes will never stop. No, they will not. I will continually use Monday jokes forever and ever. Uh, the second game that we have tonight, and I'm going to preface this with saying I know absolutely, <laughs> absolutely nothing about this game, which is going to be perfect. Uh, that is Mind Path to Thalamalus. Thalamalus. Thalamus. Thalamus. Um, again, absolutely nothing known about it. All I know is that it's a UDK game. And. I don't know if how much you can take from that, to be honest. Uh, the third game we have tonight is Blasted Fortress, and we'll have uh, Jason Brown joining us for that. He's the developer of it. Um, it. It's a mix of Angry Birds and, like, something else. I can't really put my finger on what it is. It's like RPG mechanics and stuff. And then lastly, we have uh, Road Redemption. Now, I wasn't originally going to go with Road Redemption for the fourth game for tonight. But, uh... They kind of found me on on Steam and they said, Oh, we think you're a pretty influential kind of guy. Here's a free copy. And I'm like... Okay. <laughs> I won't say no to that. We are good to go indeed. Alright, so the first game, Skyborne. It's going to be interesting because I've got this new setup for it. Um, and I'm not sure how it's going to go, so... We'll see. Could happen either way. Alright, here we go. Alrighty. Okay, Skyborn. Would you look at that? See? It's kind of jerky a little bit. Oh, I just flicked everything down. That is not good. God damn it. This is why Windows is the weirdest program in the world. Um, I'm sorry, gents. Give me a second here. Okay. 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 Boom. I think we got everything we need. Let's crank that up a little higher. Alright. So this is Skyborne, everyone. It's a uh, RPG game made in RPG Maker. I've heard it's good, though. I've heard good things. Ooh. You look dead. It looks pretty. It's a very small screen on my window, though. Like, <laughs> incredibly small. Okay, the shit show begins. Uh, Alright, let's get this, uh, let me just have a drink of water before we start this. Well, I'm going really slow right now. Is that... That is interesting. Why is everything being so fucking slow right now? Whoop, whoop. Okay, I think we're good. I don't know what's happening here. Okay, uh... Well, I hope we don't run into any issues. Oof. Ah, oh, another day in paradise. She has a voice. It's terrible. We will continue.
So what if the sun can't break through the smog? <laughs> I'm gonna hate this already. <laughs> uh, it gives our shots some atmosphere. Sunshine's overrated anyway. Yeah, fuck sunshine. Who needs it? Not me. Oh god. Girl, I just been wired back. I can't stand this. I'm gonna change your voice. Not if it's a main character. I can't do a girl's voice forever. Sigh. I wonder if I could trade you in for a cat, Coggy. Why? What's wrong with the machine? I think machines are better. They don't poop everywhere. Everything okay in here? Is that like Claire with a T at the end? Claire it? Claire it? Is that Claret? I'm gonna go with Claret. Nothing I can't. <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. Just a little pest problem. Son of a bitch. Okay, you've got an important clan coming in soon, so you might want to clean things up. Do you see a mess in here? I keep my workspace clean. Lots of people I know. Oh. Uh I wasn't talking about your workspace. You're a dirty, dirty girl. You should change your clothes. Oh, shit. I'm not paid to look clean. Well, don't say I didn't want you. Anyways, we need that thing up and running by tomorrow, so get to it. You can't just demand that she change her clothes and then say, yo, get back into that barrel of oil right there. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> God, I really hate her voice! Ah! Alright. Hmm. What client cares if their mechanic is clean? Now where did I leave my rivet gun? Oh, right there! To the left. You fucking... <laughs> Why would you describe that for me? Oh, God. Alright. We rolling around now. We rolling deep. Interesting. Okay, I gotta remember that the menu is brought up by over there to maybe this is why she describes it for me. And I wish I was paying attention. Oh shit. Well well, looks like we might have a renegade half breed on the loose. Oh no, not a half breed. God, is my camera going all fucking wonky again? Holy shit, it is. Guys, I'm just gonna restart the stream real quick because I th OBS does this thing where it like poops out every once in a while, so uh, I will be right back. I'm sorry, everyone. It's got I think we're back now, and we're back in full frames as well. Yeah, OBS does this thing where it like wants to do this, just take over the world apparently. So we're here now. Sorry about that, guys. Um, hopefully, it won't be a problem later on. We'll see. Oh, he got punched in the balls. Let me go. I'm not a half-breed. I'm a full breed. I've been through processing already, so lay off. Oh god, it's doing this fucking shit again. What the hell, OBS? You piece of shit. God damn it. I'm sorry, guys. This is really giving me the willies. Why are you doing this, OBS? You used to be so good. You used to be so good. Uh, I'm gonna turn off the back windows because I think that's what's causing it here. We'll just roll with that. Alright. <clears throat> he doesn't have any wings, so. Oh. Some halfies are late bloomers. Like my daughter. <laughs> Some ha. Okay, besides, there's more than one way to prove he's not human. Well, he likes to get punched in the ball. What's going on here? I want my money back. It's free. It's free. We can't take our money back. I've got a report of a free half-breed in this pretty team. You know, the law. You're harassing my employee in my ship. Whoa. Take it easy there, lady. It's not like we're in full plate mail shaped like a dragon or anything. What up, Amos? Welcome to the stream, man. Just doing some Monday night bullshit. You know how it is. 
I think you should leave. Why? Back off, ma'am. Let's not make this official. <laughs> Wasn't it official already? <laughs> oh god. What the fuck are you shooting at them? Get out, get out, get out, get out. <laughs> Typical dirt stomper. <laughs> hey guys, you're a goddamn dirt stomper. You're lucky you got the client you do, else you and I would have words. Not that we're having words already. Keep your nose clean. <laughs> keep, keep your nose clean. You wouldn't want to have a dirty nose now, would you? <laughs> dirty nose. Corwin, are you okay? I'm fine, thanks, Clet. I'm gonna call her Clatty. Clatty. <laughs> hmm. What makes them think that they can treat people that way? They're probably about something about their wings and their magic and the fact that they won the war and the fact that they were oppressors like the Nazis. I'm sorry, Corwin. I don't know why the Skyborn perfect Perfects are coming in here. They've never taken notice of us before. It's okay. Some of them came in the other day. Same routine. It's nothing new. Stop being such a bitch. Fight back. Goddamn piece of shit. They beat you up daily? No, they come in here for, uh... <laughs> Have you told Jake? Really, it's not a big deal. And I wish that plane would go away. <laughs> Please don't concern him with it. I'll clean up around here so you can get back to work. Okay. What a mess, Coggy. <laughs> God damn it, these fucking names. Oh well, I need to fix this airship, anywho. Uh, and whoever flies it must be the world's worst pilot, the Navigation Corps. <laughs> Can I click on it? Nope. It's completely shot. We're all out. But I should be able to pick a new one up in the city. Oh, I'll be fine. I'll just go loot that chest up there real quick and get some money. Besides, if I ran into trouble, I know how to use a rivet gun. Do you even know what a fucking rivet gun is? You definitely can't use it to hurt somebody. I'd like to see how that happens. <laughs> oh god, as if I didn't notice that fucking chest already. Ah, you got two times rivet guns. Open up the menu and equip the rivet guns. <laughs> okay. Wait, X? Are you serious? Why X? Yep. This is hardcore RPG maker shit right here. Oh god, what the hell is going on, man? Is this like game like super fucked up or something like that? It's giving me like the willies, like I can't... What the hell? Honestly. Uh, okay. Equip, I think they said. Yes. Weapon one, a river gun. Weapon two, a river gun. Now I got double river guns. Okay. Let's boogie out of this house. Oh. Claire is now. Claret. Claire et. Claire T is now level 2. Why? Because I stepped on a sparkly thing? This is an exploration node. Walk into these in order to gain experience points towards leveling up. There'll be a dozen of these all over the world. Blah, blah, blah. Got it. Oh, God. This game. What the fuck is... Seriously. I do not know what is going on right now. What is using all my person? OBS is having like serious shutdown right now. Seriously? What's going on, OBS? You're like suddenly all of a sudden just breaking down. Seriously? No idea. I think it might just be this game though. Because like 
Sometimes it works really well, and then other times it, like, just doesn't. So where am I going? I, I gotta get some fucking teleportation device. Get out of here, mouse cursor. Little Clarence Spencer came out of her ca Shut the fuck up, bitch. I'll smack you. I'll smack you across the face. <laughs> what brings you to town? Surely it must be about work, work, work. It's better than standing here like a... God, why would you take that? You betcha! <laughs> Speaking of a few things for the ship in a very sad shape. Alright, I guess we go into the flashing door. What's up, little girl? Well, well. Claire Spencer. What? You're looking rustic. <laughs> How is the repair shop business faring these days? <laughs> Ah, bitch. Doing... She's, like, super happy with everyone, and everyone's, like... Like... <laughs> everyone's treating her like shit. It's doing quite well, Astrid. <laughs> Pay is good enough. A hard day's work really cleanses us all. It's what us rustic people do to pass the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's a black woman all of a sudden. <laughs> good to hear. <laughs> Well then, I imagine you're here for widgets or whatever you people do. My uncle uh, <laughs> over there behind the counter would be pleased to assist you because I don't wanna. Turns her back on me. What a bitch. Long time no speak, Harold. You old silly bugger you. Sassy black woman. <laughs> Uh, long time. Oh, we already did that. I need a navigation code for an Osprey MK2 yacht. Please tell me you have one just sitting around. Ah, uh, yes, I do. Behind my Mona Lisa. <laughs> Osprey nav code. Yep. Got one right here. Don't sell much of these. They run about four to bet you here. But I let it go for dirty because Spencer's a lovely little girl. Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh. Thanks. Who says good luck? <laughs> oh, God. Who says good looks don't get you anywhere? And then you spend the next 45 minutes blowing a guy behind the counter. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, I purchased it. Now I get the fuck out of here. Whoop, whoop. See you later, losers. Ow. Ow. Who does to- Oh, great, it's the crazy mechanic again. Oh, great, it's the pompous skyborn again. He just said the name of the game. Scratch one. <laughs> I've had enough about of your lip, human. Well, I don't know what to say to that. Why, why do you want my lip? Time to teach you some manners. Oh, God. Holy shit, this is serious RPG right here. Sorry, you'll be missed. Uh, sorry, you'll be sorry you missed with Claret Sp Oh wait, that's Claret Sp speaking. Ah, you think I'm afraid of a rivet? Yeah, seriously, why the fuck do you have a rivet gun? That's used for like, putting two pieces of metal together. What the fuck? <laughs> You've obviously never had your armor nailed to your body before. Oh god, shall I? Ooh, okay, let's attack this guy. Oh! Yeah, this is some serious RPG right here. What? Have I got skills that I can use? Let's take a look. Come on, you two. I would not have you brawling in the streets, especially with your armor attached to your body the way that it is. Is that a rivet gun? Why the fuck do you have a rivet gun? Leave the human to its work. Surely we have more important things to do. Uh, as you wish. <laughs> human, I'm keeping my eye on you. Only one? Alright. Uh, my people will require my assistance. Whoosh. Yeah, you better fly away. Alright, time to finish the airship job. After, like, literally half your life was kicked out of your skull. Very good. Wait, this is the entrance here, right? Alright. Get out of my way, cat. Well, 
Well. Claire T. I'd like to introduce you to S Sullivan. Sullivan Chesterford. <laughs> That's his voice. This is my younger sister, Claire. She's our main mechanic here at Spencer Dry Dock and Repair. <laughs> Hello there, um, miss. <laughs> it's a perfect voice for him. <laughs> Hi. Since when do I have to deal with clients? Uh, 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 uh. Mr. Chesterford wanted to see how the repairs were coming along to his airship. His airship? Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Of course, it's your airship. So you're the owner. Yes, I <laughs> got it that way. Yes, I've been, I've been making, <laughs> it's been making odd clanking sounds lately. I assume you'll be able to repair it. <laughs> ah, the clanking was just one of your problems. The timing belt slipped, causing the engine to misfire, but I also found a bent propeller, worn out, worn out struts, loose leg nuts, and a giant gouge in the hull. The poor girl's through, been through the ringer. Your pilot should be fired. Surely I'm not that bad. I've taken at least a month's worth of best flight courses money can buy. You did this? <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> Claret, important client. Mr. Fancy Pants here is abusing his ship. This model isn't even a year old and it looks like, and look at the condition it's in. Anyways, Mr. Chesterfield, let's go discuss the business contract. Cool. Right now. You don't deserve an airship, you piece of shit. I, I fell on what the the authors originally wanted to say, but they weren't. And that's why Jake will let you run the front desk. I can't stand it when people don't take care of their machines. That guy was such a tool. <laughs> I could have fixed the airship using him. Oh! Fucking sass on this one. Well, I hope he's not too offended. The Chesterfords are the wealthiest in the wealthiest circles. They're even accepted into Skyborn society. We could really use their business. Oh, don't worry. When he sees how smoothly his ship runs after I'm through with her, he'll be back. Assuming he doesn't crash his ship into the Celestial Plaza Palace or something. Yeah, man, she's sassy as fuck. Strong female lead. Wait, what? How the fuck did she build that? I'm a little confused here. Was she just repairing the engine or something? Phew! Just about ready. Oh, I see. Thanks again. Your ship should be ready tomorrow afternoon. A pleasure! Um, what was his fucking voice? A pleasure, Mr. Spencer. No, that wasn't it. Fuck, I've forgotten his voice now. Anyway. I'm glad we were able to reach an agreement. And I look forward to the fresh slew of insults on the marrow from your oh so charming sister. Yeah, man. It's a green bottle. Like, I turn invisible. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Just down here. Isn't that good? Yeah. Oh, so charming sister. Oh, farewell. Fuck. What an what an ignoramus this guy is. So, so everyone else gets the fucking picture except for the brother that owns the actual shop. That's weird, bro. Clara, don't you think that Justice Wunch could have tried to make a good impression? Sorry, Jake. He's such a douchebag. <laughs> that guy just got on my nerves. Yeah, um, Clara, there's something I need to talk to you about. You're fired. I don't think you're gonna like it much. In fact, I probably should have talked to you a little sooner. Just tell me already, you're freaking me out. You're now his slave. Oh my god. I'm selling the shop to Sullivan Chesterford. Cool. What the fuck? Oh, she exploded. Well, that was a good game. 
Well, water is see-through and whiskey is less see-through, so... Look, I know you like to focus on your work, but look around you. Big things are happening in the city, and I can't just sit here fixing widgets forever. Just watching the world change. I have to go be a part of it. But you can't sell the shop! <laughs> I've already made a deal and the contract is signed. Sorry, Claret. How could you? This is our home. Look at all we've accomplished here, especially after Mom and Dad walked out on us because we were little shits. Can't blame him. Probably didn't want to be stuck here either. Slap him. Slap him on the face. Are you going to leave me here too? Now hold on a second. Yes. <laughs> Trust your big brother. What? Oh, whoa. I've never seen so much money. Mr. Trevor, just for a night, I spent hours working out the deal. And he walked in here with a humongous sack of coins. You didn't see it? In addition to you getting half your very generous sum of money and the shop sale, you can keep working here and run the place. Really? How? Simple. You become Mrs. Chesterford. Oh, shit. He sold his sister to get married. <laughs> oh, yes. Take the deal. You have got to be kidding me. Nope. We talked about it, and after some haggling, he agreed. And I was more than willing to sell you <laughs> as an object, along with the sale of the shop. <laughs> you sold me as part of the shop? Whoa, 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 no. Just your body. <laughs> uh, I had to haggle to get him to take you. I mean, seriously. When was the last time you went outside? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Where'd the music go? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Draven, you crazy man. Homeless, unemployed, humiliated. So I went to bed like angry. She just like. She just jumped into bed, like grease and all. My brother is an idiot. How could he do this to me? What would make him think I'd marry that chest for guy? It's the dumbest thing you've ever heard. Mm. Guess there's only one thing to do. Come on, Koogie, I got a plan. Make a series of embarrassing videos and put them on the internet for money. The airship is still the workway and it's flight ready. Let's go. Yeah, let's fucking steal everything. Uh, Corin, I was, uh, getting a drink of water. Really? Jake told me the news. Oh. I pretend I didn't see you. You will? Every person should be free to make their... Blah, blah, blah. You give this to Jake when you see him, it's the money. Oh, God. You just gave away a bazillion, billion dollars. All right, time to put this thing into party mode. Oh, this is almost too easy. Jake is going to be for the audience. Oh God, he's on the ship. Good. Everything looks it looks like everything is here. Oh, what the balls? Z Zounds? Zounds. Jupiter's balls. What was that? We thud. Who's thud? There should be no thud. I triple checked the engine early. What the fuck? What are you doing here? The shop's closed hours ago. This. This is my ship! What are you doing flying it? You sullied the inside of my glorious spaceship. Uh oh. He's embarrassed. 
He's embarrassed. I was just... I was only... Look, Jake told me about the little contract, you sniveling piece of shit. I decided it's unacceptable. I'm taking this ship as compensation. Thief! How dare you! We have a signed agreement! Oh, shit. Ah, uh, it's the Stormrook Sky Patrol drones. I don't know what they are. I ran straight into them. Ah! Now who's the bad pilot? Your fault for distracting me, you piece of shit. Blast. How am I going to explain this to Jake and the city guard? Hmm. Surely we can resolve this in a civilized manner. Oh, and how do you want to talk about now you want to talk about it? A little late. The drones are closing again, you piece of shit. Bother. Let's fight them off. Fight them? How? I have a rivet gun as well! <laughs> Come now. You don't want to be arrested for theft and kidnapping, do you? Winky face. ka -ching. No, but... Then climb up this ladder. Urgh. I guess I have no choice. Coggy, take the wheel. Motherfucker, I'm a cat. I can't really do that. Alright. Here they come. Oh shit. It's spinning things. So then, let me take the brunt of their attacks. Make sure my threat is higher than yours, Claire T. They'll always attack whoever has the highest threat. What do you... Ah, it's like I've never played a video game before. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Cool. Sniper shot. Whoa. Oh my god. Is that supposed to like get health back or something like that? <sighs> lordy, lordy, lordy. Incapacitated. Does he have like a... No! Ah. Whatever. What is Ian? Ian. Fucking kidding me. Critical! Just kill it. Very good. Level up. Oh god. Okay. So many numbers. I say, Claret, you're a dumb hand with those rivet guns. Fuck. I can't get it out of my mind that these rivet guns are just like the, like the worst thing to bring into combat. Er, thanks. Why are you helping me all of a sudden? I it never helps to attack a guy. So <laughs> he's like fucking retarded or something. He's like, it never helps to attack a guy. So you're, a, you're a kidnapper and all that. I haven't kidnapped anybody. That's wonderful news. You return me and my ship then to the dock then. No way I'm going back. I'll have to dump you somewhere else. Oh, are you my new chauffeur? <laughs> no, rivet guns, man. Nail guns are different. Rivet guns are like, okay, there's, there's a piece of metal. You put it on a thing. It has two sides to it. And you clamp it. And what it does is it, it 
binds two pieces of metal together without having to weld it. That's what a rivet gun is. You should Google it if you're if you're unsure about it. But like in this case, she's using it as a pistol, and I'm like, the fuck? That's impossible. And we ought to discuss your new wages. Er, look here, silly furred. We both want you off this boat. Nah. They can't. Nah. I think they're the same. They're not the same thing, I know that much. Oh, you think they are thinking of it, right. No, that makes much more sense now. Yep. Yep, I just read your comment wrong, that's all. I even left a bunch of money with Jake to pay for it. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, that makes... Let's make this legal, shall we? Fly me to Uptown, and we can go to the airship registry office and record the sale. You do that? Why not? I can always buy another. I guess you can, huh? Sounds like a deal. And then they kissed, and it was weird. Ha ha! Surprise! And runs back on the ship and flies away. Surely you've been to Uptown before. I came here once with Jake and Cart. But then I needed to defend some pencils with them. I didn't see much. She's Timmy now from South Park. Oh, fear not. I am a directional genius. Just head into town and the registry office will be all the way to the west. Right next to the town square. Journal quest updated. Woo woo! Wait, what? Okay. Look at this idiot. Can't wait to get a promotion and get out of the stinking town. Cool story. Alright. Ho there! How you new around here? No. Welcome back! <laughs> Remember to visit Sir Thurus Adventure School right inside the inn if you need- Nope. How about you go to hell? You look like an important NPC. Uh, I was fooled. Hands are off the keyboard here. Gods milling about. Could it be the Red Spectre? Uh, don't catch the guy. Why won't the guards catch him already? Have you heard about the Grey Fox? Bloody hell! What is it? What's going on? What is it? What's, what's going on? The Red Spectre! <laughs> He's something of a local menace. What, what does he do? Petty crime, usually. Vandalizing public property, harassing the Skyburn Perfects and the like. He's been getting bold of late, though. Why don't the goats catch him? <laughs> okay, I'll stop doing it now. Oh, they're trying. None so far have. Oh my god, it's the guy. There he is. The Red Spectre. Get out of my way, human. Climb the ladder. Oh god, he can break the laws of physics. Oh shit. Run, you fool! Goodness, they're right on your tail! You're really into this. Yes, uh... Big fan. So s Yes, yes. Big fan. So stylish. <laughs> if you keep stuttering, he's gonna make you stutter, stutter forever. No, it's not like the wind is changing and my face is stuck in one way. Jump! Get out of there, you fool! Whee! Holy shit, it's Spider-Man! Um, I don't understand. Oh. No! He fell and broke his ankle. Dirt stompers should stay in the dirt where there's dirt to stomp. <laughs> I don't see how a bumbling fool like you has ever managed to escape the gird so long, but it ends now. Holy shit, he got a sword! Oh god. My nipples. <laughs> so excited right now. 
You sure do like criminals, huh? Hmm. I, uh, ahem, ahem. You inept brigands do have some sort of charm, I suppository. I am not a criminal. Not a very good one, at least. He fell and broke his nose. Like an idiot! Alright, we found it. Let's go inside and sh He's seriously gonna be on the ship. Guaranteed, 100%. Watch your lead, my lord. Good, sir. Record this bill for sale for us, if you will. Would? Ah, not too many of us can say they're on their own airship. Lucky girl you are. Done and done. Th that's it, then? Certainly. The ship is yours, my lady. Let me tip my fedora in your general direction. Sure. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. Allow me to walk you back to the docks. I think I can find my own way. You really smell. No, no. I wear Axe body spray every day. Directional genius, remember? Right. Okay, then. Whatever. And yes, Axe body spray is indeed the best smell ever. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oh, well, that was fucking difficult. Oh, oh, the bloody messes! Er, something wrong? My dear, I'm afraid I must apologize. What for? Abysmal thing, timing. I don't... Gods! 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 Help! Are you trying to toy with us, human? Watch your tongue. That's a Chester Ford's kid. Sigh. Is there a problem, boy? Arrest this woman! Holy shit. I don't understand, but holy shit. You monster! She's a thief! And a kidnapper. Throw her in prison! Right away. Like, just like that. Just like... Just like that. Let me go! The ship's mine! I got the dude right here! We had a deal, you liar! I lied! Why is the robot in him? That overdressed, livid, livid bizzard. <laughs> I hope he chokes in his own caviar! I hang this caviar. Cavat? Curvat. How dare he accuse me like that? Guilty? I'm... of course I'm not. Not anymore anyway, we worked it out. Why'd he wait so long to call the guard? They... have to let me go once they see the name on the airship deed. If they ever bother reading it, this is so unfair. Let's see, Clarence Spencer charged with theft and kidnapping. I'm not guilty! I demand a trial. Trial? <laughs> Hilarious. Did you hear that? Yes, I did, sir. It was quite riveting. Just like these rivet guns I'm going to give her because I'm going to help her escape. Because I am the master bandit. If you want out of here, human, you're going to have to tell me what I want to know. Like what? Where's the location of the rebel hideout? Uh, the what? Who's the leader of the rebel movement? How would I know? Give me names then. Uh, Bob, uh, Stephanie, uh, John. John's a good one. Uh, Bethany is also pretty good. It kind of rhymes with Stephanie, and that's why I thought of it. Uh, why? Are you having a kid or something? Who's in? Who is involved? Um, I don't know. God, I guess. Obviously, she's been trained to her resist interrogation! Holy shit! God damn it! Mm -hmm. Sir, she, uh, you know, might not be involved at all. They're probably she was accused of by one Sullivan Chesterford. That spoiled Chesterford brat, huh? Hmm, I see. What a bother. You take this one, uh, 
Oh my fucking god. How do I say that? Dai Chin? Da Chen? Da Chen? I just call him Barry. You take this one, Barry. I have real criminals to deal with. Fucking Barry, man. Oh god, look at this fucking guy. Clarence Spencer, is it? Yeah, so? Interesting. Excuse me for a moment while I uh, jack it in the corner. Oh god. He really is jacking it in the corner down there. I can hear him, it's gross. He changed clothing. Oh god. Jake! So you do know each other. Are you a prisoner? Claret, I... Perhaps you weren't listening when I ordered you to remain silent. Oh, you just slapped me with your... Trent returned them to the fortress on the maximum gird. Why did you... Yo, dog, what's your deal? My brother didn't do anything. I'm afraid that's not the case. He was discovered this morning attempting to conceal a half-bred... But that's not what I wanted to discuss you with. <laughs> you see, you're not the only one who wants to escape who this prisoner. I've come up with a plan that would benefit us both. I don't need a plan. I'm not even guilty. Your brother is. Not to worry, I can help him, but I will do so only if you agree to work with me. What is it that you want? The Warden wants to expose the rebel sleep episodes gathering here in the city. Doing so would grant him great prestige among the upper echelons of my people. Unfortunately for him, the prestige will in... In a in... In... Uh... The, the prestige will be mine. Big words. I can't say them. <laughs> While he chases ghosts, I'll focus my attention on a more practical problem. The Red Spectre. I already told you guys, I'm not involved with anything like that. This is only my second time in Uptown. Just listen. I've studied his movements. I'm certain that the Red Spectre is not only affiliated with the Rebels. Quite intimately, like sexually. <laughs> but he's also planning a jailbreak here. Cool. I will transfer you to a new cell. When this Red Spectre spends his jailbreak, you should be able to escape with the rest of the prisoners he's after. From there, it's a simple talk to him, let him take you to his hideout, discover his identity, and report back to me. If you succeed, you and your brother will go free. But I, or you can refuse and your brother will die, who knows how long you'll rot here. You don't leave me alone with choices now, do you? You understand then. Cool. Come with me. Run. Run. Just sprint. Just go. Oh shit. Don't speak to our agreement to anyone or this whole thing falls apart. I look forward to hearing from you. Oh god. Hey there! It's this guy. Claret! So they call you too. I didn't think Skybone would throw a human in with us. A new low for them, I guess. Corwin! What's up? Everyone I know is in jail now, it seems. You, me, Jake, too. They said he was caught with a half-breed. Were you making out with him again? I'm sorry, Claret, I was. I shouldn't have lied to you about it. I put you in danger. Okay, cool. What's this little kid have to say? What's going on with you? No one cares. There used to be more of us in here, but we keep disappearing because they keep murdering us. What's this guy got to say? If I could just get one shot of those Skyborn bastards. We used to have a whole crew in here. I thought maybe we could team up and take them. But they're picking us away one by one. Your kind got us in here. Cool. A human? What are you doing in here with us? This guy's obviously the main guy. Sheesh. A pure-blooded human, I see. What awful thing did you do to get thrown in here? Uh... Okay. How about I just break out of here with this bin? Well, fuck. I don't know what to do. Oh. 
Ah, uh, yes, from the beginning, he was the one who found me, after all. A few years ago, you were hurt. He told me that you have been attacked on the street. In a way, I suppose, I attacked myself to see... See, I attacked myself. Okay. See how some of us have little half-wings, half-breed in the city, we'll try and cover them up. Close to the... close to the body... What? My method was a bit more extreme. I cut my wings off. Not as awful as a half-breed is treated. You think being a human is looked down on... What? Far worse than living by the mixed two races by each other. Part of both, less of either. I don't know. Cool. Everyone, back away from the wall! Okay. I am the Red Spectral. The guards would have heard that, you know, the giant explosion. Not you, human. You're no half-breed. Yeah, they just threw me in here. It's the Red Spectra! The princes have escaped! Sound the alarm! Bing, bing. Oh god. There's an underworld, underground waterway that leads the way out. Just tell, just tell your plan in front of the fucking god then. Follow me best you can while I get the others to safety. Okay, what's the blue thing doing? Yes! I found a ruby, guys! Medical herb. Medical herb. Branch of life. Me miracle herb. Oh. I know I just don't put all that thing in one chest. Oh no, it's a demon! It's three demons! Uh, okay. Sniper shot. This guy's got nothing. How do I go back? Boom! Dodging that attack. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Corwin, you're bleeding. Oh, right. What? You just instantly healed yourself with magic. Yeah, not very useful, huh? Ha! <laughs> Good joke. What the? Healing sounds plenty useful to me. All other half-breeds have been able to do, manage at least a fireball or something. All I can do is just call up in a bowl, take a beating, and survive it. At least it doesn't get me caught. Why would you not... Why would that not get you caught? True healing magic is a rare fluke. There's only one full-blooded Skyborn able to use it, so it probably never occurred to anyone that a half-breed could as well. Can you heal other people too? Uh, maybe. Corwin, aren't you at least a little curious to find out what you can do? I'd be experimenting left and right if I had magic. Sheesh. I'd rather not have powers at all! God damn it, just get on with the fucking game. Feel free to practice on me if I get hurt. Corwin is now level 3. Cure was learned. Fuck yes. Let's kill this guy. Alright, time to fuck your shit. Boom. Wow. Rivet gun is the shizness. Oh. Whoa, would you look at that? Looks like some iron ore. We could nab it as much of that stuff as possible so we can craft us some gear. Iron ore. Cool, this crafting in this game. Ka-ching! 
So how does this help us? Well, you can't be, can you not be optimistic about anything? It's really simple, really. I just need to find a forge. Oh, well, there's one right there. Sweet. All right, let's see what crafting's all about. Jackpot. Well, I can make any kind of weapons and armor with ore. Looks like we can use some protection here, Corwin. Thanks, but I'm not really one for heavy armor. It'll weigh me down. And you too, frankly. Peach, I can make lighter things too, like clothing or mail. Mail isn't exactly fucking any lighter than... Anyway. Let's check this out. Clothing from iron ore. How does that work? Watch and learn. Kimosabe. What? Japanese? Alright. Uh, heavy armor. God, you, like... So, am I supposed to, like, what am I supposed to build here? What does she wear? Like, can she wear anything? Like, that's not really clear to me. Whatever, let's just fucking make the heaviest gear we can do. No, we want chest piece, god damn it. Just kick me out of the menu every time. Well, okay. Okay. So the strength goes up, but the int goes down. I see, so this is a very gear dependent game then. Yep. Perfect. Well bang! That doesn't look like it is. Anyway. Got it! Alright. Take out the side mobs first. Seriously? I don't think it like requires. I don't. There's no requirements for me using a sniper shot, which is very interesting because it's a pretty powerful move. Goody. Crystal water. I'm guessing that's MP recovery. It's, uh, it's pretty cool, the mechanic here. I like it quite a bit. Yeah. 
And you can avoid enemies, which is interesting. Find a red switch to open the door. What is this fucking... Uh, Doom? Oh, there's a red switch. The enemies are a little too easy to avoid. What's this supposed to be? Okay. Well, I guess we made it out of the dungeon. Guess I gotta try and sneak around here, huh? No, let me go up there. Oh, I guess I gotta go down the sewers again, huh? Give me that crystal water! Ginger ale. Red delicious! Let's call it a fucking apple and be done with it. Elixir. Ether. Crystal water. Oh boy. Um, hey. Far enough, prisoner. That damn vigilante may have freed the others, but you two aren't so lucky. Time to die. And. On that note, it's time to change games. That's right. <laughs>